Praise the Lord. We've, uh, for so many days, for nearly three months, we have been looking at the subject of fatherhood. And today we are going to continue with something related to that, but a bit different. We want to look at Father God. Remember that earthly fathers learn from the Father who is in heaven. Now we want to look at our Father who is in heaven, our Father God. What are his attributes? What, what, does it, what does the scripture say about you and I being sons of God? As far as I'm concerned, there is no other better scripture on this subject than first um, John chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. It's an amazing, amazing revelation that John gave to the body of Christ and to the world. It's what he says. Behold, what manner of love the Father has given or bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, and everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. You know, the Apostle Jam, uh, uh, John the beloved apostle brings to us a very important subject, a very important revelation. He says, behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that you and I should be called children of God, sons of God. So the Lord in his mercy and love he has bestowed on you and bestowed on me sonship. So he has become our father. It reminds me of Psalms when he says, you are my son, today I have begotten you. So you have been, you have been graced and bestowed with the grace of God to be called children of God. So God is your father. And being your father, it means you have the DNA of God. You have the attributes of God. And that's why the Bible says, we do not know how we will look like. But one thing that we do know is that when he will appear, we will be like him. So we will have the eternal body just as he has eternal body. We will have that immortal body, the glorified body as his body. So look at the love that God has bestowed on us. We who were not a people, we were enemies of God. We were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. We were called Gentiles, we were called pagans, we were called people of the, of the nations. But look, by the love of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. How are you going to have everlasting life? You have everlasting life because that is the nature of your father. You receive the eternal life of God. You become an eternal crea creation just as God is. Because you have the very life of God flowing in your veins. You have the very life of God in your spirit. You you are in the world, but not of the world, because you have, an, you have God for a father. This is an amazing thing, beloved. And I would really love that each one of us 
really understands this. Now, I want to add another portion of scripture. That is going to be John chapter 14 and verse, um, verse 6. John chapter 14 and verse 6. And I want us to read what it says. Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the way to fatherhood, to I mean, to, be, to being born in the family of God is when you receive Jesus Christ, the Lord. So for you who have received Jesus Christ, the Lord, you have been made sons of God. Now, there is something that I want you, each one of you to know. Every good father has a home for his children. And that is why Jesus has gone to prepare a home for us. After he has done it, he will come to take us home to be with our father forever and ever. We cannot go to the father without going through the son. So every one of us, every one of you that is born again, has become a child of God. And being a child of God, you are destined to, it, to the eternal home. And the eternal home is the dwelling of your father. So from this portion of scripture, we realize two very important things. One, that the way to receiving, to being received in the family of God to become a son or a daughter in the family of God is Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to my Father except through me. So there is no way God can become your Father if you have not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So this morning, is Jesus truly your Lord and Savior? Have you received him in your life? If you have, thank God, God is your father. And because he is your father, he has a destiny for you. He has a destination for you. And the destination is in him. He becomes your father. And you know, when you become a father, when you become a father, you can imagine if you, you, your wife went to hospital to give birth, and then when you get to the hospital, the nurse announces to you that, hey, Mr. So-and-so, you are a proud father of this wonderful son or wonderful daughter. You can imagine how you feel. New responsibility is birthed in your spirit. You think about their clothes. You think about so many things. So many things run through your mind. You think about their education. You think about the inheritance you will leave them with. You think about if it's a boy, what the, the woman he will marry or the, the woman, the man she will marry. And you just, you see things, you see, you know, things run, rest through your mind because you have become a father. What a beautiful thing. And you know, Jehovah God is your father. And being a father, he has, he plans for you. He has a budget for you. He has everything, I mean, put in place for you because you are his son. So what a beautiful message. Let us understand that God is our father. And let us understand that he is a good father. He loves us and he cares for us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. And I thank you, Lord, for bringing us to a point where we must understand Father God. That he is not just God, he is our Father. And Lord, I really want to thank you and bless you because of who you are to me. You are my Father. You are my Father. You lift me up when I'm low. You are my father. You protect me. You are my father. You have done great things in my life. Oh, Father, I thank you and I bless you. Reveal yourself to us even more because we want to know you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment 
click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next